A few months ago I made a tutorial about how to make this high poly piece of furniture. Now I'm going to show how to do a simple UVW unwrap on this chair and hopefully the tools and techniques that we go over will help you to do more complex unwraps. Uh, for the sake of time I'm just going to unwrap this cushion here. It's the simplest thing to do. Um, ideally, if I was going to unwrap this entire chair, I would have done it before I turned it into a high poly piece of furniture, so before I did some of the turbo smoothing and things like that. It makes it much easier and much cleaner to actually do unwraps. This cushion, however, will be easy just as it is right here. So I'm going to isolate this cushion by hitting Alt-Q. We'll go to the top view. And the first thing we're going to do is consider how the fabric would actually be cut to fit onto this cushion. I'm going to assume that there will be a seam going all the way along the bottom of this cushion. The fabric will wrap from the top down the sides and it will be, uh, there will be a seam right here on each edge because um, I think that's how they'd probably actually make it. Um, and that's exactly how we want the computer to unwrap it too. So what we'll do is uh, go to the top view, ignore back facing, go into the polygon sub-object mode of this edit poly, drag from left to right, select all those polys, and we missed some that we want, so we will hold down control, go from right to left, um, oh. let's turn off ignore back facing now and just select it just like this. Make sure you get all those, whoops, make sure to hold down control, go from right to left, that should get all the polys that we want, and we will treat this bottom portion, well really it's not going to matter because we'll never see it, but we'll treat it as a different piece of fabric. Um, and what we want to do is set this to a specific material ID. This is already set to 2, um, so if we go to select invert, we'll make sure that's all set to 1. It is. Um, the reason we put them to different material ID groups is so that when we go into our UVW unwrap, which we'll do now, it makes it easier to select. And when you're doing more complex object, that'll be even more important. So if we go into the modifier list, go to UV, uh, unwrap UVW, and then go into the sub-object sub mode of face and then we'll just select our material ID select material ID number two click there and then what we'll do is just put a basic map on it and what that does you can see it created this green seam around the bottom and so what that's telling us is that that is uh, now cut right here and is now separate from this bottom object so we, we, we cut that out by putting a simple map on it. It could have been box, could have been planar. If we put a box, it would have cut more edges that we don't really want yet. So we put planar and it just cuts that bottom part off. If we go into edit mode, we'll see why we did that. If we lock the selection here, and then move it away, you'll see that now the bottom and the top are separate. The next step we need to take is to go into edge sub-object mode and then go to the corners of each of these or each corner of this cushion and cut some more seams. So basically we're determining where the seams are going to be on this fabric so that when we unfold it it'll unfold just how we want it to. And you can you can just select that one. Make sure and hold down control so you're adding to the previous selection. And then um, if you just select that one and then hit loop, that'll these will all go until the loop ends right there, which is perfect. You just have to get this last corner here, loop it. I think that's everything. Wow. Okay. There we go. So you can see here. On our edges, we've got 
those corners selected, and then what you do is go into Tools, Break, and now you can see we have the, the bold green lines going up these new seams. Now, in real life, that's one way to upholster that cushion. Um, cut these seams, bend them, bend them down over the edge there, and then sew it back at the seams. Um, so when we go to unwrap this this cushion we have here, it should unwrap just like that for us. So if we go into Tools, Relax, um, you can set this to 1, that makes it go faster. Um, relax by Edge Angles is fine, the only other one I would use is Face Angles. On this simple unwrap, either one should be fine. Hit Start Relax, and you can see that it just relaxes itself, flattened itself out perfectly. Um, in the shape that we would expect that piece of fabric to be. You can close this, apply this checker pattern here, and there you see the cushion with the seamless, seamless, seamless edge on it. The only place where there's a seam is where we made the seams, and that's pretty much true to life, I think. Um, so then, the only thing to do next is to go into and uh, go into Tools, Render UVW Template, pick the size that you want to render to. Actually, I take that back. Now we can we can go in and um, we can go into Tools, Pack UVs, and it'll put them in this little square nicely. Because when we go to Tools, Render UVW Template, it's going to be rendering inside this square. So now if you go into Render UVW Template, 1024 by 1024 is fine. Render. And there you have it. Now you just need to take this into your favorite uh, image, image editing software. I usually desaturate it, invert it so that it's black on white set it as a multiply layer in Photoshop, that's how I do it, and then and then um, start coloring right underneath of it. These lines will basically just be acting as a guideline for you. Then you import it back in and apply it to this material. You'll have a nice unwrapped cushion. The nice thing about that is you can go in and start painting in uh, bumps and wrinkles into this cushion make it look much more realistic um, and you can uh, easily put paint in some wear and tear looks much more be uh, much better than a simple procedural map or even just a simple tileable JPEG so hopefully that helps